Hi guys, it is um, September 18th. Um, welcome to any new subscribers that I've got. Um, I just had a couple of little things to uh, fill you guys in on. I haven't really been able to get any private messages lately. I'm going to try to get my computer fired up again. Um, hopefully, eventually, I'm going to get an iPad or something so I can get messages. But right now, it's really tough for me to get the ones that are marked private. So if you really need to get in touch with me, it's always better just to message me in the messages below the video. Um, also, if anybody has a chance and they go on to the Pike LK Recovered channel, um, any of those videos that you watch, if you can possibly do transcription on those, um, anybody that likes to type that might have an extra few minutes to type some of the transcriptions for those videos, you can just do it in the comments, I think. Um, I'd really greatly appreciate that. It would really help out the gentleman that's putting that channel together for me. Um, and last but not least, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all of your comments and compliments and just nice words that everyone said to me when I uh, did my big reveal last week um, or this week actually. Um, it was very kind. My husband filmed it for me, um, which I thought was really nice of him to do for me. And everybody has just been very kind and I, I just wanted to say I appreciate and thank you guys for all of your comments. Okay, this is a word I received this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. Um, again, please prayerfully discern all words you hear. And if anyone has any scripture to go with this, please post it in the comments. Okay, my daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. My messengers, blow your trumpets. Start celebrating your impending homecoming. Raise your hands and your voices in celebration. No more will you be subject to the rules and the wiles of the devil. No more will you fall victim to his lies, thieveries, and continued deception. You have fought a good fight, my children, and your reward in heaven will all be worth what you have endured on this earth. Some of you are overflowing with my Holy Spirit now and mostly immune to the enemy and his tricks. Others still believe his lies and are knocked off the path from time to time. When this happens, I gently rein you in for I know your heart aches and I know that you are weak in your flesh. Repent for your mistakes and receive my forgiveness. If you have been misguided into sin in any way, my loves, you understand I hate the sin and the ways of your corrupt world. But I understand that as long as you walk in your flesh, you are subject to the corruption and continual snares and lies of the enemy. This is why it is so important for those who have received my salvation to also receive and cultivate my Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, within them. My Holy Spirit is within you, my children. The moment you believe in my death on the cross for your salvation, my Holy Spirit tears the veil within your heart and enters in. It is your job to let the Holy Spirit work within you, work within your heart. Nurture him and allow him daily to crucify your flesh. Your flesh wants the things of this world. Satan knows this and tricks you into thinking you need these things, these experiences and these feelings. He takes the lost on journeys and convinces them to follow every bad path in order to satisfy these false desires. Only I can fill the hole in your heart. I am it. Satan has convinced my creation that they need riches and power to fill the hole in their hearts 
and many have fallen for this deception. You see many with fame and fortune, yet they are still empty shells, running to and fro, and seeming to never be satisfied. They are empty vessels, trying to fill themselves with the luxuries of this world, but their hearts are nothing but sieves. They remain empty. Pray for the souls, my children. Though they may sadden and even disgust you, disgust you, pray for their souls. I love my entire creation, not wanting one to perish. I love my entire creation, not just the woman who washed my feet with her tears, but also the one who knew not what she needed. All of these blind people out there they know not what they search for. If they would only glance my way, I would reveal my heart to them and they would learn who I am. Pray, pray for these lost sheep. For those of you on my path, stay on it now, for you cannot venture out into this evil world or you may be torn to bits by the wolves. Let my Holy Spirit be your guide. Let him crucify your flesh daily, for your flesh cannot pick up my cross unless it is crucified, unless it is purged, and until it is filled with my power. For you can do no good work in your flesh that I recognize. The good work is done through my Holy Spirit, which you are a submitted vessel. If you do not surrender to me daily, your vessel becomes unreliable and its contents lukewarm. Pray for the crucifixion of your flesh. Pray for your new man to emerge in my glorious power. Believe my truth not Satan's lies. You are no more subject to this world. You are no more subject to your flesh. Be deceived by the enemy no longer. Trust me that I can overcome the things in your life that are dragging you down. I can conquer any demons or any darkness that is coming against you. If you surrender them to me, I am not a father who does not take care of his children. I love you more than you can imagine. I want to be with you in all your decisions and throughout every step of your journey. Things will be coming upon your earth now that will certainly shake the faint of heart. But these things will not shake my children. For those that are seeking my presence are not subject to fear. Those who are walking on my path are protected. Those who put me first in their lives before all other things will hear my voice. And they will know it is me when they hear it. They will know no fear.